Hello everybody. If you're about to go through your education credential assessment for Express Entry of Canada, this video might be useful for you because here I'll be sharing few tips through which you can save money on ECA from WES. So if you want to know, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shadan Chu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got so many videos on the immigration process. I also upload videos almost every day now. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe it right now so that you don't miss any of those videos. Before I begin that video, let me tell you a little about the other video on ECA. This would be a complete guide for the ECA process through WES for you. You can check out which all documents are required, which all documents are not required, the step-by-step -step process, how to fill the online application form. There were so many queries, you know, more than 740 comments. Uh, if you want to check out this video, I'll provide a link in the description box below. You can check it out. I also want to tell you about the Facebook discussion group. I made this discussion group a couple of weeks back and I'm happy to see the response. More than 2,000 people have joined it. I don't post anything over here. It's just the people who actually post their queries. All the members of this community post their queries and they help each other. So if you have any queries with the ECA process or any other process of the Canadian immigration, just come over here and ask your uh, query. Hopefully you'll get a reply if I haven't been able to reply you in the comment section. Uh, I'm really happy to see the response. Almost every post over here, you know, gets a response from the people, from the lovely people over here. Thank you so much guys for responding and keep doing that, keep helping each other. I'll provide the link to this Facebook group uh, in the description box and also to this ECA video in the description box. Now let's begin with our video. Okay. So the first tip, if you are not a resident of Canada, then you need not pay the tax. You'll see this screen before the payments page. This is an update in the last couple of months. You need not pay the tax if you are not a resident of Canada. Let me make it very clear. Don't you know get misguided by this default selection in this screenshot. You have to select the first option that you are not a resident of Canada. If you are not living in Canada, if you're not residing in Canada. Okay, in this way, you'd be able to save $27. This was a question from so many people in my videos in the Facebook page. People ask the same question so many times. So I thought making it clear once and for all. So you should not pay it if you're not residing in Canada. And if in case you are residing in Canada through work permit or student visa, in that case, you should definitely pay this tax okay now the second option the second tip rather okay so you should select the standard mail for postal delivery option you'd get a screen saying something like this you should select the first option which is standard without tracking and i will tell you why you should not select the second option which would cost you around 85 dollars you can just you can save 78 dollars straight away over here just by, just by selecting the normal post, which would actually cost $7. Now I'll tell you why. You actually don't need the hard copy. They actually send the hard copy of your report to, to our homes, which we actually don't need. We just need to upload the PDF version of our report, which we can download directly through this download PDF report button. We can, as soon as our application gets reviewed and completed, we can log into our to the portal and we can click on this button. It will download that PDF page which you have to upload it. I don't really don't know why they have, they actually provide it. Might be some other use. I don't know. So for the immigration purpose, for the PR purpose, you don't need the hard copy. So just click the first option and forget about your your hard copy. Actually, you don't need it. Okay. So this was the second suggestion. The third suggestion. No need to add second recipient. You'd ask a question if you want to add another recipient for your report. Of course, you don't need it. You have it in your 
you know in your application you can download the PDF form as I just told you so you don't need it just don't select you know just don't provide any second recipient and you would save $30 here as well IRCC actually gets the report by default and of course because you have applied you'll also get that report that these are the two parties which actually need that report and so you know don't select any other recipient so you'll save $30 here as well the last tip evaluate all degrees and diplomas in the same application of course this is for the primary applicant and the you know and the spouse don't get confused for the spouse you have to create another application make another payment you know everything would be separate there'll be two different accounts for WES you'd get two different WES reference numbers but individually you should select you know you should provide all the credentials all your degrees and diplomas in the same application because if you don't do it and you go for the second time there's no provision of adding it you need to go you know create a new application pay all the fees again and go through all the same procedure again so guys these were the tips that I wanted to share through this video thanks for watching it if you like the video please click the like button and share it with your friends if you think it would be useful for them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet you know what to do you have to click the subscribe button please 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 do it right now thank you so much